Hello YouTube and GirlsEntertainmentNetwork.com. I'm going to do a little uh, review of Ghostbusters for Xbox 360 with uh, Dave Waldorf and Magnet Bones here. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> All the other icons are stupid. Alright, one of the big issues with the Xbox 360 version, as soon as you start it, it makes you sign in again, which is like the only game I've ever seen that makes you do this. And then it gives you the nice run around with selecting your, where you're going to save it at, your storage device. Instead of just automatically saying, oh, this is the last place you played, just pick it. And the menu is usually the like the worst looking menu that they've ever had. Like the graphics are horrible. I mean, I like the setup, but the graphics are horrible compared to what's in the game. And you'll uh, you'll probably recognize a lot of the music because I use pretty much the uh, I think it's almost the entire score from the original films. Plus, all the original voice actors are here. Some of the old characters like Slimer and Stay Puff. A lot of the old locations. We're going to go to uh, the library, which I believe was in the first film. Plus, it's one of the better ones to show. Because those have multiplayer, the multiplayer feels kind of tacked on. It's entertaining, but it's, I mean, nothing special. You're not going to play it for very long, in my opinion. And the game lasts like seven hours on the hardest difficulty. You could probably do it in like three on the easy, from what I've been reading online. So it's not a very long game. Fans of the game, the series, will want to pick it up. But I think everyone should give it a play because it's actually a really fun game. I would give it a play. <clears throat> As you can see, there's no actual like HUD or display. It's all on your Proton Pack. And there's like a shows like a little heat meter there, which you have the vent. In. Before it gets too hot, you have four different modes that you can unlock for the Proton Pack. There's just your normal beam from the movies, and you have a stasis stream which freezes objects. Then you have a slime blower which cleans up some black slime residue, and then you have like a homing missile. This is your, this is your PKE meter that. You use to find hidden ghosts, hidden objects, hidden doorways, and it kind of points you to where <laughs> something's going to be. Like which? I don't believe in ghosts. That's, I ain't scared of no ghosts. Bustin' makes me feel good. And <clears throat> it makes any sense. It's in the theme song. Yeah, yeah right. At one point, point, the guy just goes, Bustin' makes you feel good or something That's like that. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, but... So you can see, Watch out. every now and then things will just pop out at you. That's my phone. Give you a little <laughs> scare. Who could that be? It's my, it's my. He can't ease out and I try to be quiet. Oh, right. Cancel that. I do believe in ghosts. Oh, wow. A full stabilizing levitation. <laughs> I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! Yeah, as you can see, I just scanned that ghost. If you scan all the ghosts, it gives you like a sort of encyclopedia of the ghosts, plus you can unlock different achievements. I'm pretty sure Bankman doesn't. And if you look at the character models, they look pretty much exactly like the actors did in the films. Like, Bill Murray looks like the old Bill Murray, not like the bearded, gray-haired Bill Murray of today. Wow! No, listen. This place is reading like a psychic Here, everybody, just go on. What was that? Your flashlight turns on automatically whenever there's darkness. For the most part, every now and then you'll 
do okay, so one is through the dark. There are two hostile spirits roaming around in here. Two that we know about. <clears throat> Things that I like a lot is pretty much everything's destructible. The physics in the game are really good. You can see books just move everywhere separately. Um, a lot of times the Ghostbusters bantering is pretty funny, just like it was in the movies. You say it's the original voice actors? Yeah, it's the original voice actors, except for there's no Sigourney Weaver and there's no. Uh, it doesn't sound like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy's not. And Ghostbusters. Guys, a nice try. But, uh. The one guy from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, isn't in it either. But he doesn't really do anything now. He made his millions on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. Actually. Honey, I Blew Up the Kid! I mean, Mike Morowitz. I forget his name. <laughs> Things I don't like about the game is. As you can see, or you might not be able to see very well, he plays a mute new character, which is he's recruited to test out the Ghostbusters new equipment, which I guess makes sense, but it would be I think it would be funner to play as one of the actual Ghostbusters, which you can in multiplayer, but he kind of acts like a, uh, in my opinion, they put him in there to be sort of a camera to the other Ghostbusters, instead of hiring like a crabby voice actor that just really kind of ruined the game, I guess. So, I mean, it's a two-way street on that. And there's some differences in multiplayer, like when you go to capture a ghost, you actually have to hold another button to switch to the capture stream, instead of automatically going into the capture mode like you do in single player. I do really like all the ghosts and the creatures that they added. They they mix it up a lot each level, and there are different levels that weren't in any of the movies. And really, it feels like an entirely new movie. And the gameplay is pretty satisfying, especially against some of the larger scale bosses. And these things are just possessions here that you just destroy and then ghosts you have to capture. Does it go through the whole film scene for scene? It actually doesn't go through the film, it's all new. And then it's revisit areas that they had been to. And ghosts come back. The fire marshal trying to shut them down. Peck? Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy is not in Ghostbusters. Eddie Murray, that's who it was. Is that who? I, I always Eddie thought Murray. it was Eddie Murphy. Is it? Is the character's name Pat because he's in it? The mayor's in it as well. He was a baseball player for a while at the Indians, but then he went into movies. I have no idea. Yeah, he, he had 3,000 hits. He played with the Orioles. I think before he started his Major League Baseball career, he went into movie making. Is this serious information? Yeah. I'm serious. I am DB. Yeah, IMDB. So, As you can see, it automatically switched to the capture beam. Up there. The, uh, you know, Daddy Daycare. That's Eddie Murphy, the Daddy Daycare. Oh, that's not, not, well, that must be the same guy. I guess not. As you can see, the, the room is wow. just completely wrecked. He has big burn marks on the walls, and he just can blow pretty much everything up, which is entertaining. We're on our way! Overall, it's probably one of my favorite games I've played this year, even though it is really short compared to a lot of games, but I'd rather have a fun game that's short, that's fun all the way through, than a game that's mediocre, that's really long. What is your favorite game this year? I think this is probably it so far. You okay? <clears throat> what about your second favorite game? Mm. I'm not sure. It's not irrelevant. It's not relevant to video anyways. But if you're a fan of the series, pick it up. If you just want to play a good third-person shooter, at least give it a rent, because it's not going to last you very long unless you really get into the multiplayer, which, like I said, feels kind of tacked on, plus it's made by a different developer after the fact than the single player. So. Can explain what these ghosts are eventually? 
You can scan them and it explains what's going on. So, but that's all she wrote.